guys welcome to my youtube channel you are still watching eta and this is the channel whereby we teach you mathematics physics and chemistry and we make sure that we simplify each and every term each and every topic um under the three uh, subjects now if you haven't subscribed please go and subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification uh, button or the notification bell. And also please like and comment in the comment section. Now, today I'm gonna be teaching you guys an interesting topic in chemistry. I'm gonna be talking about chemical equilibriums. Now, before, before we dive into it, this is the symbol that we're gonna use a lot. Instead of a one directional uh, reaction, we will have a reaction which is taking place in two different direction. Now, in this segment, it is very important to understand the difference between homogeneous and uh, heterogeneous. A reaction. Now, homogeneous um, reactions, the reaction whereby the reactants are in the same phase, homo, same phase. If it's liquid, it's liquid plus liquid. For heterogeneous, it's different phase. Different phase. Say for instance, gas plus liquid or gas plus solid, for instance. All right, or, or, or liquid plus aqueous. The two different uh, forms. This is a solution and this is a liquid. We, but uh, we will talk about it later on. Now, most of the chemical reactions are um, non reversible. But however, in, in this segment, we're going to be talking about the reversible chemical reactions. Now, reversible that's when we talk about this symbol all right now the other thing to notice is that we're going to be talking about closed systems now this is a system whereby no reactants reactants or products escape from the system. All right, now that's when we talk about um, dynamic chemical reactions now with with uh, reversible um with with um, chemical dynamic chemical equilibriums equilibrium <clears throat> forward and reverse reactions. 
okay at the same rate it means the same rate that the products are forming it is the same rate that the products are reacting to form the uh, reactants form back the reactants now the other thing to notice the following equations equation for concentration concentration is given by the number of moles divided by volume this is n over v now n is given by mass measured mass divided by the molar mass now the molar mass we get it from the periodic table and uh the measured mass is the mass that we measure. Now, therefore, we can also write concentration as M over MV. That's it. Right. Uh, um, the other thing to note is that at equilibrium, the forward and reverse reaction. They continue. However, at the same rate. All right. Now, that's what we call the dynamic chemical equilibrium. All right. And we know that the, the reactants and products are not used up. So it's a continual process. Now, at equilibrium, at equilibrium, No physical change will be seen in the system. Therefore, let's say if two reactants uh, um, react to form Let's say if it perform a, a papal a papal uh, product, it means at equilibrium that color will stay the same. However, there are factors that can change in the equilibrium state. Number one, we have, uh, let's just see, we have the following. We have temperature, we have concentration, we have pressure, yes, we have pressure. Now this is for gas. Now, there's a principle called Lee Chatelia principle. It says um, if temperature concentration and pressure changes.
it says um it says the reaction favored will uh, will um, stabilize the change meaning let's say for instance if you increase the temperature it means a, a reaction if you increase the temperature it means the reaction that lowers the temperature is favored right if you increase the concentration it means the reaction which lowers concentration of certain mole is will be favored will be favored okay the same thing with pressure now we have now to quantify equilibrium we have the so called kc or the equilibrium constant equilibrium constant okay now with equilibrium constant which is uh, mostly known by which is commonly known by kc now how do we express K, uh, the KC term. Let's say, for instance, I'll give an example. Let's say if we have the following reaction. Remember, it's a forward reverse uh, reaction. So this is what we have. Now, KC is given by the concentration, the product, the power of that, uh, the stoichiometric ratio that's the product D, the power of five over the reactants concentration the power of three, then D to the power of two. Now, that's just about it. Now I'm gonna give you guys a, an example. Let's say for instance, if you are adding SO2, which is in a gaseous form plus oxygen, which is in a gaseous form, we're going to get SO3. However, we, we, we need to balance uh, this equation. Now, to balance it, we have... Um, here we have uh, how many oxygens? We have four oxygens. And if we increase number of oxygens, we will have six. And here we'll have six as well. And that is balanced. Now, Um, 
Now let's see how we're gonna calculate KC. Now, in order to calculate KC, we will have the following. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, the first one is the balanced equation. It's 2SO2. Here we have O2. Here we have now, this is the product line. Okay, here we have SO3. Two modes. All right. Initial mode. Change modes. Then we have final. And then lastly, we have concentration, which is given by N over V. Very interesting. Now, let's say, for instance, if in the example, in this example and um, let's say for instance um, if we know the reactants let's say for instance that, okay let me just give an example let's say if let's say um, how many moles now let's just say it's eight moles um re reacted if eight moles were left left if eight moles of uh, so2 were left in a closed system, system, for instance, with, uh, say, just say 10 moles of oxygen to react. Yeah, with, for, for an example. And then let's say, for instance, if the reaction produced six moles of SO3. Let's say, for instance, if, if the volume of the jar or the volume of 
system is say for instance if it's uh just say 0 0.5 cubic meters for instance all right <clears throat> So what we know is that initially there were there was eight moles and ten moles to react and uh the products were six moles of SO3. All right. The other thing that we know is, is that <clears throat> the concentration of the product will be 0 0.5 at the end. Now, the concentration of the others will be uh, N1 divided by 0 0.5, N2 divided by 0 0.5. All right. Okay, the, the thing that we know is that the change is that initially there were there were zero SO2, SO3 moles, and uh, the change was six. So what we know is that for every two moles of SO3, there's one mole of oxygen that has to react with two moles. So it means if if it means to maintain the ratio, this should be three, because this is one is to two. One is to two. And this is one is to one. So if this is six, this must be six. These are changes in moles when this uh, uh, when there's a reaction. Now, what are we left with after the reaction? This is the reaction. We are left with two. We're left with eight minus six, two. 10 minus three, seven. Now, these are the final moles at equilibrium. Now, this is two over zero. 0.5, 7 over 0 0.5. Now, the value of Kc, the Kc is given by concentration of the product SO3 to the power of 2 over concentration of SO2 to the power of 2 to the power of two. Note that all the, note that the reactants and the products are homogeneous. They're in the same phase. That is why we are able to compare them um, or on a KC formula. But if they were different, we were not. We were only gonna compare the same face. All right. Now this is given by the product six over five. Six over five squared over um, SO, SO2 be 2 over 0 0.5, 2 over 0 0.5, sorry, 2 over 0 0.5 um, to the power of 2 times the oxygen, or O2 
is given by 7 over 0 0.5. Now the answer to this is 0 0.643. That's a good one. Now, this is how um, the equilibrium works. So, during the reaction, um, the rate of reaction forward reaction forward reaction and the reverse reaction now as as the reaction proceeds the forward reaction uh, decreases and then they, they come a point whereby the forward and the reverse reactions are at the same rate. This is where the equilibrium is. However, with, with the number of moles, what we know is that, okay, the oxygen level was left at a, at a high rate, so it was about seven. Then the SO3, it rose. And then now we're talking about, sorry, the concentrations or the moles. Now the moles of oxygen decreased because these are the reactants and also the moles of SO2 they decreased. At the same time, the moles of SO3 were increasing. They increased to six and moles of oxygen decreased to zero to seven and the moles of um, SO2, they decreased to a very low level, right there at two. So this is how we represent our, uh, our changes. Now, what happens when you add oxygen? Now, we start to talk about Lee Chatelier's principle now. Chatelia, all right? Now, we have a reaction is 2SO2 plus O2, forward reaction, reverse reaction, uh, 2SO3. Now, what happens if you add more oxygen, it means a reaction that favors the decrease of oxygen molecules will be favored. It means the reverse, if you add oxygen, it means the reverse is favored. Now, if the reverse reaction is favored. We did not uh, stipulate by how much, but let's just say for instance, if, if we have already attained equilibrium, that's the, that, that's uh, forward and reverse. Sorry for that, forward and reverse, for instance. If you add oxygen, it means the forward reaction will be the, the reverse reaction will be favored.
That means as soon as you add some oxygen, you will add some oxygen. At first, the forward reaction will, will start. However, it will not be favored. It will not be favored. Will not be favored. So this is the rate. And this is the rate of reaction. Okay. Now this is the reverse. This is the forward reaction. Okay, the forward reaction is favored, as you can see. Now, what happened to the number of moles of oxygen? So it means the number of oxygens will go up and then it will then decrease. And then with, um, this is oxygen, which was already up, then if uh, this was, um, where is the product? Okay. No, I, I made a mistake. Uh, if we increase uh, the number of oxygen, it means that the reaction that decreases oxygen will be favored. And in that case, in that case, it is the forward reaction. Forward reaction favored in order to uh, use up oxygen. And so that means um, the forward reaction uh, mm. will be favored, will be favored. All right. Then the number of oxygen molecules will increase. However, they will go down. The number of uh, SO3 the number of SO3, which was on this level, it will go up because oxygen will be used up. Then the number of SO3, uh, will decrease. Okay. This is what we have. Now, what happens if we, if we add a catalyst? What happens to the rate of reaction? Say if we have established an equilibrium it means the rate of reaction will increase. The rate of reaction 
will increase. However, the moles will stay the same over time. So what happens if you if you decrease, if you increase the volume? If you increase the volume, the concentration will decrease. So what happened is that we'll have the following scenarios. Um, the concentrate the concentration will go the concentration will go down. If you decrease the concent the concentration of oxygen. Oh, if, if we decrease the concentration of everything, it means we'll have lower um, concentration. And what we know is that the reaction that will be favored, uh, it will be because we are dealing with gases, what we know is that for every three mole of gas, we produce two moles of gas. So it means in, in this, uh, case because the concentration has been decreased. In order to increase the concentration means the reverse reaction will be favored. So that means with oxygen, oxygen will be produced in large number. Then your SO2 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 will also be used up. And your S SO3 which went down as well will also will will start to go down even more that's what we have unfortunately now guys thank you so much to be part of this video uh please if you haven't uh, subscribed to this channel please go and like and subscribe to this channel Thank you. We're on for the next one.